What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Above Ground Music Radio Podcast. I am the host, Richard Radio, joined by Enrique. Oh, oh my God! I'm already, I'm already. <laughs> not that I, 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 I don't want to say it wrong. That's what I'm wrong. Oh, oh, Ojeda. Ojeda. Yeah. Ojeda. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Jesus. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I, I forget things that I just we, we talked about right before we started recording. <laughs> um, yes, Enrique. Uh, from Broken Sun, yeah, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> uh, the guy that everyone tells me, "Yo, dude, can you get me onto Broken Sun?" <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, I don't. It's, it's all it's all the crew over there that picks the bands and whatnot. But uh, yes, uh, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the first time you are listening to the Above Ground Music Radio podcast, it's where I, the host, uh, is joined by a special guest each week, and we shoot the shit and talk about anything and everything. Uh, as you can see, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Enrique from Broken Sun. I'm very happy to have you here. Thank um, you. It's, well, I mean, we, we scheduled this a while ago, but finally to have you here in my room and talking about stuff like we're going to talk about in the podcast is going to be pretty sick. But before we start, we are going to play the first song of the podcast, which is your old man. Oh, man. Which <laughs> is all, I, it was... It, it's a good it's it, it, there's nothing wrong with the band it just like didn't work out but also you were like i want to do broken sun and that's what you ended up doing which is yeah. awesome but uh yeah we we'll talk about it after we play the song about uh the blue bones for a little bit maybe um but yeah this is blue bones ooh mama enjoy <laughs> And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Blue Bones, this man's uh, old band, yeah, first, I guess. First, first old band, yeah. First o- old band. Uh, I remember you, we were in the back of uh, good old Kevin's uh, 
Or no, I was in the back. You you and Kevin were maybe we were in his car or your car? Kevin. Kevin from, from 3LH? Oh, from 3LH? Yeah, we were at Sound Matrix, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys were just ripping it, and you were like, Rich, do you want to rip? I was like, no, dude, I like watching. <laughs> 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 but no, like, uh, I remember you were like, oh, I want to do, like, a jazz thing. I was like, Does it, th- has that turned into anything at all? Um, well, or just jamming? Yeah, I mean, uh, my old, my friend Brian, childhood friend since, okay. like, high school, you know, he's in jazz band, you know, and he's he's jamming out with another guy from his jazz class, so okay. they're working on stuff, you know, I might go and join them on whatever they're doing you know all right awesome awesome let me know and then i want to go see it because yeah. i like to see you play and I, I always enjoy the uh random instagram posts that you're like oh guys look what i was working on. i was like god you're so good at guitar oh <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah uh going back to what we were going to talk about uh right after like we just heard blue bones but going back to what i was going to say blue bones man yeah. uh one of the i think you guys were on like the third or fourth second show that i ever did for above ground music yeah and thank you very much for playing that show it was uh bridgetown yeah, bridgetown diy yeah. right because uh yeah DIY. diy uh we were talking i was talking to i forgot who i was talking to maybe it was rafa and we were talking about the lineup that night that was a good lineup dude it that was, was a, it was a good one hex there too hex yeah, yeah. It, was, it was it was random as f but it was fun and i was like there was another band that played that night and i'm not thinking because you guys don't play obviously anymore but i'm like i'm like who am i missing out of this band, so I was like, "Oh, Sunset Carriers that opened the show, and then you guys played right after." I, I think, think we played second or second third. or third, and then the Asthmatics, Joy or Bloom, but what now is Joy, Joy Noise, Three uh, LH, and then Hex. Mm-hmm. But I was like, "There was another band there." I don't for some stupid reason. I was like, "Let's have six bands." Yeah, because I was just used to having a bunch of bands play. Then I was like, "Who was the band?" And I was like, "And I was like, I was I thought of your face." And I was like, <laughs> "Blue Boats, Blue Boats yeah." yeah. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that was that was, and then going back to even Arlen and you guys played uh, shows there, yeah, dude, um, which was sick. Uh, but it was awesome. From what you, what I like to hear and like what I like to see from the scene is, because you came up to me, you're like, yo, I came to the art gallery and uh, I started this band because I was I watched these bands. I was like, I want to do this too, and I was like, yeah. I, was, I in my head, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, that's sick. Because uh, it was a couple, I think maybe like three bands or that started after like the inception of like going to shows i guess Mm -hmm. and you're like one of them and uh, i remember telling uh some of the guys that work there and they're like oh dude that's so sick like do i know him i'm like you probably don't because like you mean not you're you're quiet or shy you're just like you're to yourself at the shows yeah but uh yeah i remember you texted me that and i was like oh dude that was that's awesome yeah that made me feel good because like uh that that's what i hope when people go to the above ground music shows is they don't just enjoy the bands, but they're like kind of inspired to like do it themselves. Yeah, like, I want to do that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and that was that was one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. Honestly, oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't. I, I, I'm I'm fumbling in my head right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, Blue Bones. If you guys didn't know, uh, if you were coming from the Broken Sun audience or from people that know Enrique but it didn't know him, or after Broken Sun, I guess. Or, early years. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he was in a band and I was, that's one thing I wanted, a reason why I wanted to have you on the podcast too. Yeah. Like you don't just do audio for Broken Sun and <laughs> record bands. All you used to play in a band. So yeah. A little strange. I never got any recordings for Blue Bones, huh? Oh, just the, um, just, those, you, like the, the practice demos, but yeah. they sounded good though. They sounded yeah. pretty good for, I was like, when it said practice, oh, practice recording, I was like, bitch, this sounds <laughs> way better than, that. I've heard practice recordings. This is not a practice recording, but yeah, but no, it sounded really good. Like the, the, uh, the vocals for it are yeah. like very good. And you. everything, yeah. Didn't, it didn't sound like a practice at all. Yeah. If anything, a demo ish, maybe demo, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, let's get into a topic, young man. All right. Let's do this. Um, because we kind of already talked about how we met. We've known each other for a while now, I guess. Right? Yeah. Right? Since so. like I think it's been like three, maybe years, three, four yeah. years, something like that. Something uh, like that. For yeah. a while now, but yeah, it's insane. And I remember actually, you used to have long hair too. I did. I forgot about I that. I chopped that shit out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just do. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the music scene. I okay. guess. Uh, that's the first one thing I want to kind of tackle, and because you have a different lens on music scene, I feel, because when you the first set of bands you did for Broken Sun, I, I just knew, I knew everyone basically, but yeah. then the second set of bands, I was like, I think I only knew like maybe one of them, and I was like, what the. F- 
Like, where are they getting these bands? Yeah, from? like, where's, where are you popping these bands out of? And you're like, yeah, all well, the, uh, this band's from here. This band, you, you're explaining to me like all the bands from different eras. I'm like, dude, this is sick. And then the next set of bands, I think you've done three seasons now. Or no, you're we're working- about to start the third season. Yeah, you're about okay. The second season seemed like it was like already like two seasons, I guess maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, dude, this guy's like, he's going all out. Yeah. Uh, but like, I like how you guys, uh, who who really like, I guess chooses it i guess real quick so um we all listen to music in the scene Mm -hmm. and then we just mention them in the chat and then that way we're like oh you know maybe we'll add into the group you know like Uh we have this like list of bands that we can contact okay and that's how we determine you know like we rank them from highest to lowest (laughs) no no well like on on people that we want on first okay yeah yeah. and then that way like we ask them if they want to and then if they can't we ask the next person you know Mm -hmm. so we have like a list of like of bands that we want okay all right yeah. Is that a really long list, by the way? It's a pretty long oh, list. Oh, damn. So we have, a, we probably have like a whole another year worth of, uh, of content. content. Yeah. yeah at least. Know, like, and then plus other people that are finding out about you guys and yeah. are like, wow, I want to be on this. We even had fans from out of state want to uh, catch a, ses- a session with us while they're even here. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. Awesome. That's some band from Ohio. I forgot what they were called. Gardener or something? I know we have another band named Gardener here in those yeah. too. But uh, uh, there's a couple bands, I think. Yeah, there's a couple bands. But uh, the music scene, uh, what what do you, what, okay, what's your outlook on the, or what's your take on it? What, how would you summarize the music scene? Well, it's very vast. I can tell you that yes. much. There's a lot of diversity. You know, you got punk, you got blues, you got just classic punk rock and then you got some jazz bands in there too you know overall it's pretty diverse lots of talented people you know a bunch of people collaborating and making different groups together you know seeing what happens but overall it's it's pretty pretty damn good a lot of the bands here are very talented and Mm -hmm. i really respect that that's that's the reason why i want to do a broken sun you know Mm -hmm. also like there's different bands from Every 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 corner of Orange County and yeah, L.A. Yeah, that's what we were talking about the other day. At which Broken is Sun. crazy. It's like you got San Clemente, you got Inland yeah. Empire, Los Angeles, San Diego. Yeah, San Diego, all well, San Diego is always popular. San Diego and then all everything around San Diego too, as well. But like Orange County, you if like we really try, we could probably name a band from each city almost. Yeah, yeah, that we know like pretty well. Garden Grove quickly. Oh uh, well, it depends, because I because do you count? The Nars Garden Grove because they're Staten technically I think. I think Anaheim. Oh, well, and and Anaheim. An- Anaheim. Garden Anaheim. Garden Grove, yeah. So like they're like everywhere. <laughs> like you could also say the Goons because some of them are part from Garden Grove. You could say Three LH or some of them are from Garden Grove, Santa Ana. Yeah. And then you could say Scatterbrain too. So it's like a mix. Yeah, there's a they're just like everywhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I don't know, but I can definitely name. I mean, those four bands already are like Garden Grove. Mm-hmm. I can associate with them, but also they associate with like Costa Mesa, uh, Anaheim, like you said. Uh, Staten, Santa Ana. It's like, well, damn, dude, there's a lot of bands. Um, but yeah, even like uh, the last guy I had, Daryl, he's in Orange right now, and he's in the Greening Ghosts. But then the Greening Ghosts are from like all over Orange County too, which is like kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and then Huntington Beach, you're like, oh, that's Joy Nice. Uh, oh, they're from Huntington Beach. Yeah. I didn't. All of them are from Huntington Beach. Uh, basically, just Jeff just now lives in Anaheim. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, he's uh, actually I think he's originally from Costa Mesa. But really, yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, when now you, I know. <laughs> when you w- like when w- I talked to Jeff when I was doing the first uh, version of this, I guess um, we always used to just talk in between or the songs or just um. I remember before. that. He was your co-host, no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got he's he's recording a lot of bands now. It's yeah, insane. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he just he's, at it. It's pretty darn good at it too. Yeah, definitely. That's Max album go check that out very good ones. yeah it was. <laughs> uh but yeah uh so music scene wise okay not to like judge any band we're not gonna like rate but like who are your favorite bands at the moment well I mean, it probably changes every so often i'm guessing it, too. it does change but you know uh, you can never get enough of the nars yo oh, right oh, oh, <laughs> oh. that's the best band <laughs> <laughs> you never sorry. get enough of the nars you know uh throw back to their old no dough album you know that's mm. that's what really got me to it you know and then mm. because of the nars is why i found out about the venisons why mm. i found out about sex cells and you know that mm. their whole friends group there yeah and then 
they they played a lot at Arlen's. Um, like like each of them like like individually like oh yeah, like yeah. i definitely with booked them separate all right, and then and then that's how i really got into like to notice most of these bands from the music scene yeah the nars played there before i even was at arlen's actually which is kind of crazy really? th- yeah did uh, you ever see a band i forgot what they were called i can't think off the top of my head sorry they're no longer a band anymore which band China, China woman. I'm trying to think. No, no, it was an early, early band. Like they performed. They were like the only band performing that night. They were like a desert garage blues band. I forgot what they were called. Desert garage, Pyrocent. No, not Pyrocent. Um. Oh, I can't think off the top of my head, but they were really good too. Hmm. I can't think of it. It's been a while. I've definitely met a lot, a ton of bands that I don't really see as often, but they're um. They're still around. There's a lot of bands from like the leisure life scene, mm-hmm. or, like that area, that are still around. Um, from what I guess I like to call it the Arlen scene still. The Arlen scene. Uh, like just all the ba- and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Skelevators, Nars, uh, Joy Noise, Asthmatics. Um, you can go all the way to like uh, what's I'm, I'm blanking on the span right now. Um, <laughs> a lot of old bands. Yeah, there are a lot of old bands, but I always I usually just associate. Well, I mean, the last show that we had there. Plus all the shows we've had since, uh, like Sunset Couriers. That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. the, but they were prepared to stop technically before, but um, yeah, like all those bands, I kind of lumped them all together because they've all played shows here and there, mm-hmm. I guess. And then, um, I guess it's kind of not what it's turned into now. Like I just pit bands. My shows aren't to put big shows on. I guess in a way, my shows are kind of more or less for people to go in and enjoy the band, but also for the bands to kind of hook up and kind of make connections, make connections, um, which is what I was doing at Arlen's in a way, but I didn't understand it, I guess. Mm. Like the first bands that I really introduced was the Asthmatics and Joe Noise. Yeah. I guess I'm like, yo, talk and I'll walk away. <laughs> and I try to, I usually try to do that now um, just so bands can play down in San Diego or something like that or have shows in LA or just have shows down here. Um, when I book a band from out of the area and then they come into here, so they don't have to rely on having shows with me, I guess. But they always have that. Oh, we played this show with this band. We should book them for the show. You know what I mean? Kinda? Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, someone hits you up and like they're like, oh, we can't play, but oh, this band can probably play. You know, something like that. Yeah. So, so getting like refer to another friend. Exactly. Yeah. Um, because that's that's how a lot of shows happen. Actually, it's it's weird. Um, because I've gotten recommended. Uh, strange tapes. Uh, I've gotten recommended Skelevators. I didn't know about Skelevators until I think Sex Cells and recommended them. Uh, who was the other band? Uh, Captain Sun. I would have never known about Captain Sun if I didn't get recommended by them or from Prepare to Stop. So it was like different stuff like that. Um, I mean, even you've recommended bands yeah. that I've uh that I've hooked up with. So uh, it's been it's been it's been cool. I think the music scene's so it's so vast, but there's different. Like pockets, I guess. Yeah, like but different like, lakes. But they're all there's also one like one or two bridges that always collide or, or are always built between them and like whatever other pocket, I guess. Yeah. Just because like bands always hang out with each other. Like, do you look at the Venison's Snapchat or not Snapchat or their Instagram? They're hanging out with moms. Yeah. They're, you look at um, you go at Drill H. They're always hanging out with uh with Joy Noise or they're hanging out with the uh, Scatterbrain. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's always there's always like weird relationships that happen by playing shows together, I guess. Yeah, I've noticed cool. that too. Yeah, and then I mean, I haven't seen you in a while, but you cause you just, you just been busy. But yeah, um, yeah, I think I think um, it was the like Deflin show with like the Nars. I think you were thinking about going, but I, didn't, I was like, oh man, I hope I see Enrique tonight. I was like, I was hoping for that. I was oh, like, yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm gonna see the Nars, see Deflins, but I hope Enrique comes tonight secretly. That was my secret goal. But, I mean, you didn't make it, but it's okay. Yeah, I didn't make it that day. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a good show. It just rained. I think that's what like. Oh, did it rain? Yeah, it rained a little bit. Uh, it was one that we had those weird thunderstorms. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. those. Um, but it was unfortunate. Like I thought, like the crowd would have been a little bit bigger, but uh, there were still people there. Like, yeah. like it was good that people were showing up. But I was like, I feel like there should have been more people. But I'm think I think it's just the rain. Just maybe the rain. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why the rain does that. Kind of sucks, but. Was it, it indoors it or is it outdoors? It was indoors, yeah. Oh, it was indoors? Uh, by the, you know the locker room, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was in there. So. Okay. It was a really nice venue, too. Yeah. We're going to 
try and work something out there too. No, oh, awesome. Yeah, for sure, dude. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to go to another song, or do you want to keep on talking? Uh, whatever you want to do. Okay. I really don't mind. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna do another song, and then we're gonna do probably like two more topics. Okay. For sure, and then the other song. All right, here we go. This is the second song. Uh, this is Burnout Reef, <coughs> Out of Her Head. Enjoy. <laughs> for drink she didn't really care she didn't really care she's now at two and she's crawling after you she's getting really loud she's getting really loud she's out of her Your eyes so red And she's calling from a payphone Cause she can't find her way home Now it's been three or four And she's lying on the floor Crying out for him Crying out for him Now she lost track And there's no coming back When you pass out on the sidewalk And you could hardly talk She's out of her head Bloodshot eyes so red She's calling from a payphone Cause she can't find a way home out of her head But your eyes so red But she's calling from a payphone Cause she can't find a way back ladies and gentlemen that was burnout reef out of her head hope you guys really enjoy that hopefully we get them onto a show pretty soon um they've uh hit me up through the oh i mean i've kind of met them but saw them at the show uh we were talking at locker room Mm -hmm. and um i was like i just posted something like oh this is a cool little band or something like that and then uh then they uh what's it called they're like, oh, dude, you do a podcast. I was like, yeah. I was like, I'll have your song on. So eventually, I got to that, and now they're on the podcast, nice, which is awesome. Nice. Uh, but yeah, they're four nice young men, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully, I can get one of them onto the podcast eventually too. Yeah, which is cool. Um, let's get into what I wanted to get. We've talked about a little bit already. So you do or. You have a is it what would you call Broken Sun? I guess. Sorry. Mm, well, uh, music discovery platform is probably the best way 
Okay. Best word I can probably do, you know. Um, if you like a band you see on at a show, or if you he- come across them on Spotify, you look them up on YouTube and you see them on YouTube, you go on our channel, you see a bunch of other bands, mm-hmm. but you know they're from the OC. Yeah. So I, I'd say it's just a music discovery platform, you know. It's okay. a great way to find different artists, you know. Definitely. Uh, and that's like one of the reasons why I like the idea of having the one set. Oh, like, oh, I want to go to this, watch this band. But then you find out like, oh, my God, like the, the, this other content. I got a burp, sorry. Mm-hmm. And this is like, oh, whoa, like they have do other bands. Oh, they have Menards. Oh, they have High Curbs and like whatnot. You know what I mean? So you discover other bands and then uh, you want to go to the show or something like that or you buy their music. You're basically promoting them. Uh, yep. Let's talk about the process of Broken Zone. So, if, yeah, if you haven't know what Broken Zone, there's a link down below. It's featured on the College Avenue channel. Um, if you haven't looked at that, it's on the side or something like that. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about the process, I guess, from start to finish of how Broken Sun operates on, like, one one video, I guess. is like, when I want to get, like, break down, I guess. So, the way it starts off is, you know, we come to an agreement with the band saying, hey, we're going to record you. Well, first season we recorded at our old studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, back at Locker, I think it's called Lockout Studios in Santa Ana. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty small room. And then after that, we lost the studio, unfortunately. Uh, for season two, the first two episodes, we did it with Rasta Cowboy. And then, so, and then we did it at, um, what's the name? Sound Matrix. Okay. We did them at Sound Matrix. Um, so that we just come to an agreement, you know, to find a location, you know. Any spot would work, to be honest. Um, and Didn't then, you guys do like a store or something like that? One of them? Yeah. Tritones, um, right? For the first two episodes of season two, okay. yeah, we did it at a place called Rasta Cowboy Records. Okay, okay. It's okay, in, okay it's, it's a record on, store. Okay, that's okay. Though. I think it's on First Street in Tustin. Okay. Yeah, it's in Old Town Tustin. Hmm. Pretty cool spot. Very cool guy, too. I didn't know there was a record store in yeah, Old no, Town it's Tustin. A, it's a hidden gem. Yeah. yeah. And it's been open for quite a bit, too. It's like three years, four years. I think. Yeah, I thought the only record store in Tustin was off of Newport. Um, I forgot what they're called. But yeah, it's like but next to a barbershop. I could never find it. Yeah, yeah honestly, like, like I searched it up on Google and I can never find it. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's by the Circle you Circle K and then the barbershop. And then it's right. It's like in the little corner Cause, of the cause barbershop. Because there's a smoke shop. Oh, it's in the little corner. Yeah. So if okay. you look at the barbershop. Oh, I think this barbershop is like also like a vape place, too. Really? Yeah, you know how people all combine that <laughs> kind of stuff. But uh, there's a barbershop, and then, yeah, right next to the Circle K. I forgot what the other street, the the street is, like, it's off of, but uh, Newport is, like, the main street mm-hmm. going up north. Yeah, I know it's what you're talking about, but I never was able to find it. I would always circle the building. I'm like, where is it? Yeah, I think the guy that runs that, his name's Andy, and, and um, he used to be in a band, too. I forgot what they're called. I used to get music from him, like, yo, dude, what do you listen to? And he's like, I'm listening to this. And I was like, oh, this is so sick. <laughs> yeah, his band used to open up for, like, Group Love back when Group Love was, oh, like, a shit. thing. Yeah, That's dope. Yeah, and then he was like, I got money to open a record store. And then that's what he did, I think, basically. Hopefully I can get him on the podcast. Or hopefully he's still there. I'm not too sure. Yeah, but you yeah. should Anyways, ask Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so or we uh, talking to an agreement, right? Yeah, so agreement on how to, like, get where to record, I guess. So we find any spot to record, you know. Uh, we'll even do it in, uh, like, if. If you had like a backyard that's really decorated, we'd probably even do it there too or something. But um, you know, I go in there. We we usually get there like about a half an hour before the band does. You know, mm. I set up. You know, my microphones all over the place. You know, yada yada yeah. And then my uh, filmers find out Eddie and Luis. Those are the two guys that film. Uh, they find the angles. You know, to charge up their their equipment. And then when the band comes, they bring all their equipment. You know, they bring mm-hmm. in their amps, their drums, and you know they set it up. We put the microphones on everything, uh, mic it up, and then just record. So kind of like how you do this, you know, mm-hmm. we uh, we re- I record the audio, my friends film it, and then I give them the audio, they just sync it up. Yeah. And then voila. All right. Broken Sun video. Damn. Yeah. Uh, we, we usually take about two weeks to edit. I was going to say, how the editing process. How, how What's like your part of the editing process? How long will that take the sound? Um... It depends, you know. It de- it just kind of depends on how the band plays. You know, okay. if the band's kind of quiet and soft, it's easier to mix. If it's very hard and a lot of screaming everywhere, that's when it starts to get a little difficult because it's live, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I can't. And I'm I'm kind of limited what to as to what I can edit, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then, so about two weeks, and then that's two weeks is my is my limit. We try to get it done within a week, 
mm-hmm. so that I could send it over to them and tell them what they think about it. And then they were like, yeah, the snare is a little too loud. Or they'll be like, yeah, this is a little too loud. And then I'll be like, all right, I'll take it back, re-edit it. But we try to have it done done because we release it every other Thursday. Mm-hmm. So we try to have it done at least two days beforehand. Okay, so... Like fully, you, completely. Yeah, so like we when so this new season that's going to be coming up. Yeah. Uh, you said, oh, you're starting to record today, actually, right? Yeah. So, oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> so this is what, uh, November 20, 29th. 29th. So is that's, this, is a, is this is the first band of the season? Or We're recording two bands. Today? So it's going to be like oh. the Rasta Cowboy one. You know how we recorded okay. Static Sounds and Tritones? Oh, in the same place? Yeah. Well, we're gonna, oh, same, we're same gonna day. We're going to be recording at uh, Rift Mountain. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. I would love to tell you who it is, but I think we're gonna keep it a little secret okay. for now. Uh, d- if so, um, you're doing sex sales again eventually, right? Yeah. Eventually. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say you guys should do it in their uh, at Ricardo's house in his laundry room. Bruh, is it even big enough to do, to record? No, but it it, it <laughs> wouldn't like the, you would have to figure it out. But like if you can get cameras in there, yeah, that would be sick. Actually, like that would be kind of. Sex sells right there. That's where they uh, jam and everything. But the I was like, laundry room. the little laundry room right there, because you have the kit in the corner. I don't know if you could figure it out. You can mic it up for sure, but you would have to have like some kind of cameras up in the corner. I don't know. Do you guys use like GoPros at all? No, no, no. Okay. I wish, I wish. Because that would be like kind of. I'd clip it on the edge of the guitar. Or something. Yeah, like a CCTV kind of like recording in a way. That'd be kind of cool too, but. Yeah, that'd be sick. I was like, I was, I was like, oh man, you should do sex sales in the in the, the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're always open for ideas, you know. Yeah, cause uh, cause I was told that you guys are doing um, what's it called? Uh, uh, you're gonna do like anniversary one recordings, right? We want to, we want okay. to, but we were kind of thinking about that, you know, mm. since we don't have a spot anymore, since sounds and since Sound Matrix isn't open anymore. You yeah, know? unfortunately, yeah, we're kind of more limited as to when we rec- we can record. Okay, so that's why we're doing two bands today instead of one. Yeah, it'd be cool to like do something out in the open, maybe. Yeah. Um. Like literally, so like out in the open. We. Oh, what do you mean by like out in the open? Like, like at a park or something? Yeah, but like, cool. yo, but like to get everything like, I mean, like legally like, done and everything. You know what I mean? Like, like we can't just go out and like do nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, we can. Like, I mean, you can try to get one or two songs in before the cops. Roll yeah, up. that's what I'm saying. It'd be kind of <laughs> cool to have something like that too, but. Um, yeah, there's something out in the open, maybe like in um, like an industrial place or something. I don't know. It's just something, just like something with a cool scenery, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have like a vision for you guys already. I'm like, but like, I'm not a part. We of we, it. we we <laughs> we want to do things like that definitely yeah. for our acoustic sessions. We were already planning on doing it by lakes and stuff. So mm, okay, yeah. Do you get like a like a drone and stuff to have it like come out while they're like playing and coming in and out? And you stuff? know, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Dio has a lot of good Dio ideas. Has ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, not that I want to like make the, your content better, but or like not like where I want to, not ruin whatever you guys are doing or something like that. I was like, I just, that's what I just see in my head when I see you guys progress and get better, and to do more crazier stuff and recording and the video con- side of it too is like I already envision a lot of stuff. Like uh, it already fall, it already felt th- not not that it fell through, but I was talking to John. I was like, dude, like let's do a music video. He's like, what kind of ideas do you have? And I was like, I, t- I shot him on an idea, and I was like, he was like, wow, dude, like, how did you think of this? And I was like, for, I don't what, know. For what song? Um, I think it was Klepto. Klepto. Uh, and I was like, I just have this idea, and like, he's like, how did you even think of this? He's like, how do you, what do you, I'm like, I just stare at the wall, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, stare at the wall, all right, I'll just sit on my bed, like, looking up, and I'm like, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. I don't write anything down, I should. Um, you should have, like, a little journal and write all your, all your ideas and stuff. Yeah. Like. Uh, no, but uh, he was like, okay, is, can, can he give me kind of a vision? I did it on my phone, like the idea. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh. And I was like, now you get me? He's like, yes. I was like, well, it just the scheduling just never, I don't know. It didn't come through. But yeah, I'm, I'm open to do music videos for free, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we were actually planning on doing vi- music videos for certain bands too. Yeah, I'm down to do that. But uh, I only have one camera, but I can I can figure yeah, everything it's doable out. With actually, one I have camera. two, technically. It's, but yeah doable even with one yeah but uh okay. yeah uh no you guys have definitely inspired me but uh uh and it even inspired me to do like the this kind of format now with the, the camera i guess yeah um just to like have like an interview because i remember i think you were starting to do kind of interviews in a way yeah we, we were but you know yeah but uh yeah it'd be it'd be uh 
this is like kind of me sitting down with artists and stuff every week is kind of like what I wanted to do in general. Mm-hmm. Um, after the, because like me and Jeff were thinking about, oh, we should have guests on or something like that. And I'm like, okay, we'll figure it out. Like he has the mics and stuff to do it. It's just like getting the timing to do it for the band. And then some bands were like, oh, let's have the whole band. I'm like, well, this is why it's just one on one. I was, was going to ask you if you wanted me to bring in Eddie and Luis. Too. Oh, no. If anything, I, we can do one on one because then talk about them and how they are process of shooting okay. eventually after that. Maybe <laughs> after the season's over so we can promote the season after like when it ends and stuff to come, yep. come, bu- come back and get some more. I don't know. I don't know if that could, I can generate views for you guys, but <laughs> I can, I can ha- try to help. Um, Cause I'm just starting this, but uh, subscribers is what we need. Yeah, uh, same thing here. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. But yeah, you know? uh, it's hard. But yeah, it's hard. It's, but you guys got a lot of views. Um, I think it's uh, I don't know. Uh, what was I? What was I going to say? Um, but yeah, driving people to you guys. It's it's what I've been wanting to do and drive people just to listen to the music. Um, but what I was going to say before you you're saying like to have uh your guys come through and like interview oh uh, the bands oh yeah yeah i don't want i just want to have like the one-on-one conversations i don't like when you have too many people trying to one's going to talk over someone i just i already see it play out in my head i guess yeah and i kind of just want to get what comes out of one of the guys and then eventually we'll have the whole band Mm -hmm. um like we already have two-thirds of joy noise like i did koch last week and i did jeff in the beginning the first one yeah um and then eventually i'm gonna do uh franco from 3LH. Yeah. And then Kevin. Um, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, I don't know, I, it's it's a weird way of doing it, but it's it feels better just to have one person to talk to, I guess. Yeah. One-on-one. Yeah. I don't know. Because it just seems more natural. Yeah. And after next week, guess what I'm doing? Hold on. Hold on. Next week. After me. Yeah. Um, Someone from the NARS. John? Sonny? Uh, uh, John. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Thank God. Uh, and then eventually I'll have son again. I think they're working on stuff. I'm not too sure. Um, they got a new drummer. Yes, they do. Maurice is awesome. Very, very strong gentleman. Sad. I love giving hugs to him. But I haven't met him yet. You haven't? Oh. No, I haven't uh, met him yet. There's a show this Friday at Sanctuary Sound, dude. You should go. Oh, Sanctuary Sounds. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I'll also be. I'll I'll stop by. I will try to be there on time ish. I'm probably gonna be working before. Yeah, same. So, um, but I'm gonna go pizza press before I go there. So. Oh, it's right next door. I yeah. fucking love pizza. Pizza, pizza press. Pizza is so, is so good. good. It's so it's it, it's like the worst thing for you, but it's so good. <laughs> what do you get on top? L. You want to get okay? Well, let, me, let me take a drink real quick because I'm already <laughs> salivating right now. <laughs> so pizza press, guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you get done. You do the regular marinara sauce, the regular mozzarella. You can get a little crazy with the other cheeses. I do that sometimes, but, you know, Daddy likes the other toppings, okay? We already got <laughs> enough cheese as it is. Uh, and then I put, oh, I put Parmesan after I'm already done with everything, too, like when it comes out. I'm like, oh, I'll put some Parmesan on it. Uh, all, almost all the meats. So you got bacon, pepperoni, chicken, sausage, all that. I'm like, meat lovers, let's do it. Uh, and then the vegetable parts, it's uh, mushrooms, green peppers, red peppers, um, scallions. There's another one I'm missing. I'm not thinking of the uh, spinach and uh, the, tom- the baby tomatoes. Damn, you go all out, man. Uh-huh, dude. I don't, I don't mess around, <laughs> dog. Uh, and then it goes through the oven after that. And I put the uh, pest- pesto oh, and then the balsamic glaze. Damn. Mm, dude, it is. It's, it's, it's probably like. It's in like so high. Yeah, high. it is. <laughs> the guy looks at me and like I always go to that one, and the guy's like, "I know what you're gonna get, dude." I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I go all out. I don't care." Um, but yeah, what do you what do you get? Are you just like are you <laughs> mine just... seems so naked compared to yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say mine. <laughs> what, no, what? I mean I I love garlic. Okay. Death. So I get my regular dough. You know, I get I get the spicy marinara though. Okay. I like spicy. Then I get Maybe I'll try that. I get time. mozzarella cheese, you know. I haven't tried any other cheeses yet. Mm-hmm. Still have yet to try that out. Um, you know what would be really good, though? Getting Alfredo sauce instead of any, like, sauce. You know, as, as getting Alfredo as your sauce. I, I, I wanted cool. to do that or a barbecue. Yeah. So, but I haven't got the balls to do it. Because <laughs> I'm like, then, like, when you do the barbecue, it's just the barbecue chicken. But I'm like, would pepperoni or sausage or the bacon taste good? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? That'd be a good question. That's the, you have to try it out. Yeah, but also, do I want to risk it? <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't <laughs> I'm know like, about that. You know, it's, it it's is like, a ten dollar uh, pizza. You know, well, no, I mean, not just that. I'm just like, 
It don't taste good. If it doesn't taste it good, I'll still eat it, but I'm like, ah, it's kind of sad. It's not going to be enjoyable. Yeah. But anyways. Chicken. And then um, I get red peppers, green bell peppers. Oh, whoa, whoa, I actually get garlic cloves. Okay. And then minced garlic on top of uh, the spicy red sauce before. I'm getting hungry here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> dude, I'm, I, you, that was me, dude. <laughs> I thought that was me. No, because I... Oh, no, that was me, dude. My, well, I haven't eaten yet, so... Huh. I don't eat until 1 o'clock, because I'm a caveman, apparently. But anyways, go ahead. Um, yeah, so I get a lot of garlic first. Then I get red bell peppers, green bell peppers, red onions. I love red onions. And then I get... Um, that's it. That's it. I think that's everything. Nice. Yeah. I don't mess with onions at all. And then red pepper, red uh, red peppers on top. Okay. Uh, lots of red pepper. Damn. Okay. You're one of those. You, <laughs> you just like you just like the heat, dude. And if they had ranch, do they have ranch there? I don't know. If they I believe do. they do. You have to like ask for it on the side. I think. No, oh, I never got it. I love um, ranch too. I think they. You know when you get the balsamic glaze or the um the pesto, they have a ranch one too. So you can put ranch straight on. I believe. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because I see them pour that into like a little cup, and then that's what they give you. Hmm. But also, I think you can get it just on the pizza. So maybe you can try that. Yeah, I'll probably try that out yeah. next time. That's kind of that's a safe one. And then a cookie. And a cookie. Oh, dude, have you had the cookie sandwich? Dude, the ice cream sandwich. Oh yeah, the ice cream sandwich. Oh, so it's you got two of those fresh baked cookies with a giant <laughs> ass ice cream scoop. <sighs> oh my god, uh, that's the one I'm like really fat that day. And I'm just <laughs> like I'm really hungry. If like that's the only thing I've ever eaten in, ever in my life. This shit's fucking bomb. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had the ice cream sandwich in a good minute. But every time I'm like, I can't finish it, bro. Oh, I just look at it. I'm like, I look at that on the menu. I'm like, oh, it, it's super good, but I'm not a sweet tooth, so mm. I can't fully finish it. Oh, that sucks, yeah, bro. I know. Oh, it's so like every bite, it's just like, oh, I want another one. <laughs> oh, I want another bite. Oh, and then you're done. I'm like, oh my god, what happened to it? It's all gone. Uh, no, I usually because I get a beer there now. Oh, yeah, usually, yeah. so I'll get like a beer without off a draft. Enjoy that. But if I don't get a beer, maybe I'll think about getting an ice cream sandwich. Then I'm like, okay, maybe I can. Like one or the other. Yeah, you know, yeah. So you know, you know, I mean, you can't eat too much like that. You know. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I, I don't think I would have room for it with the beer. With the beer. Yeah, and the pizza. Pizza and the beer. I'm like, whew, I'm done. Um, there's actually a really cool place in Irvine. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like 99 Pizza or something like that. But they have like a thing where you get a beer, a salad, and a pizza, just like the pizza at Pizza Press. For like ten bucks or something like that. Oh, it's a combo. Oh, or something like, or twelve bucks. It was like a combo, and I was like, "What the? F- so, am, I, am I robbing you guys? Is it, is it just like like uh, pizza press? Yeah, I think so. Like yeah, you, you go in pizza. and you choose the pizza, but I think it's a little bit smaller. But you also get a salad and like beer. I was like, "God damn, dude, this is highway robbery over here, man." But anyway, sorry, we went on to a pizza press yeah, rant, but it's okay. <laughs> pizza press is awesome. We love you. Sponsor us or something. Yeah, <laughs> sponsor us. Get us free pizza. <laughs> yeah. Um. We were talking about Broken Sun for a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed uh, all the recordings. If you would love to invite me and I would just like hang out. I'll well, be... what are you doing later? Do you want to uh, go today? You could tell me if what, I mean, it depends on who's playing, but. Oh, was, okay, okay, all right. You tell me well, after, I guess. They're they're good bands. No, because I, I, I technically have to work after this. I do oh, DoorDash. Rip. But I'm like. If it's at a reasonable time, like maybe I'll just well, not go early or well, I'll go later. We're gonna be recording from three to seven. Okay. So. Yeah. But yeah, but that's that's kind of reasonable. Maybe I can shoot down there. Well, or is a mountain or a riffon? It's a I, Anaheim, I right? No, I gotta go, I gotta go on Google Maps. Check <laughs> I think it it's Anaheim. <laughs> I think it's or Anaheim. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, because no. Um, I think it's Fullerton actually. M height threw a show over there not too long ago. M height. Yeah. Um, with three LH and stuff. But yeah, they're Broken. like, <clears throat> yes. Uh, what was I gonna talk about right now? Jesus, we talked about Broken Sun. Oh, we talked about process. Let me know if your buddies want to come on, and then yeah. we can um have one of them, and we can talk about how you guys shoot it and everything at the end of the season. That'd be perfect. I would love that. Broken Sun's uh, been an adventure. I can tell yes. you that much. Really uh, has. Yeah, because I uh, remember talking to like you and I think it was Jules. Jules. Uh, yeah, from yeah, Vincent, at, and we at, talked about Eddie's it for a little. Yeah, um, that was fun to talk about. We'll we'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Let's get into uh another fun topic. Oh, actually, let's have let's see what topic you want to talk about. Either conspiracy theories, video games, or anime. Let's do conspiracy. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? 
specifically. Oh, what do you have conspiracy? I haven't haven't caught up on any conspiracy theories uh, for a minute, so I mean, entertain um, me. Recently, okay. Um, do you want to talk about nine eleven? I guess. Really? Go ahead. Uh, well, no, I I don't think it's a total conspiracy theory. I just Bush did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. No, uh, what's it called? I I was watching like a video from like a while back of the Joe Rogan podcast, like a clip, and the guy was like accusing Joe Rogan. He had like nine celebrities that he thought like pushed conspiracy theories too much and like made it normal. Mm. And they were talking about he basically put mouth or language or words into like Joe Rogan's mouth in a way uh, about saying one of the it wasn't the original towers it was uh, Tower Twelve how it came down. And he talked about how it came down. Like it look, it looks like a controlled d- a demolition, just the way it fell. Yeah. But he was like, he wasn't saying it was. He was just saying it just looks like it. And the guy was accusing Joe Rogan of like, uh, "Yo, you're saying it. It's a controlled no, it's a controlled demolition." He's like, "No, I'm what I'm saying. It looks like it. I'm not saying it is. It could be, but I'm not saying it is." And so like stuff like that is like kind of interesting to talk about like conspiracy theories like that. Um, when people kind of like question other people, I guess it's kind of interesting. Um, cause the class I'm taking right now, I don't know if you've listened to the podcast and heard about my class I'm taking. Um, it's from 1945 till now. Um, and it's basically stuff on like the CIA and whatnot. Um, and actually we're going to have a lecture I think next week on nine 11 and stuff. Uh, because the only weird thing for that, I've really heard, um, that just makes sense or that as like kind of holds up is like the investigation after, I guess, in a way. Cause like when you look at like when the towers fell and everything, it's like, that's a crime scene. Like shouldn't it be like r- thoroughly investigated? Was it not? And that's what I've heard that it wasn't. But I also think maybe it was tainted because you're trying to say people that were in the rubbage or the wreckage. Oh, so like, yeah. So you're moving stuff around. So maybe there, there's stuff obviously that you've kind of tainted, but I think, they only really saved people like in the first like week and a half and like they only saved like 23 people in total i believe maybe i have to double check that either 23 or 19 and then how many died oh thousands thousands well i mean thousands in general but um i'm not too sure on how many exact like the exact exactly. number of perished in the towers and the in the planes um but definitely uh, uh not a good amount um yeah, because I also just recently watched that. It's called, I think it was called World Trade Center or something like that. It had uh, Nicolas Cage in it. And he was like one of the firefighters. That's why I only know that statistic. It either was 23 or 19 when they pulled out um, in total, which was like kind of, well, they were very lucky, but it also kind of ugly to like only see that many people come out. But um, yeah, just like how things weren't totally investigated. And so we're going to get into it next week eventually because his lectures are just tangents, honestly. Are they like they end up becoming discussions at that point, right? Are those lectures or yeah? Because there's a lot of kids in the class that just challenge them. Oh, really? Yeah. They challenge a professor. Yeah, 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 I'm not one of them. I've only done something where he was explaining, or he was saying like, I don't know why Guatemalans come here from uh, what's it called? Uh, from Guatemala, like, and they say America is better, like, you know, I'm like. Uh, he's like you're either better off staying in Guatemala or something like that because like there's no like America or the American dream isn't really what they think it is yeah and I was like oh but that doesn't make any sense though because like you're talking about how bad it is in Guatemala then like why would you want to stay there and like you're gonna have a little bit more protection here as a worker you know why would you want to pick fruits in Guatemala versus picking fruits in the U.S. like it would be kind of like a little bit better you would think right definitely yeah the quality of life, just like simple, simply just having running water or something like that. You know what I mean? You might not have that option there. Healthcare, you might not have that option there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I was like, isn't that the point though of coming here? Like to have that. Cause if we have a little bit more protection on workers like that, cause it saves our, saves our Chavez and stuff. Um, but I was just like, he was like, yeah, that is, I guess, I don't know. Like he didn't really like, he just looked at me and like kept on lecturing. He's like, yeah, and then kept on going. <laughs> but um, yeah, eventually I'm gonna have him. I'm hopefully gonna have him. I'm gonna talk to him at the end of the semester, which is in a couple of weeks. Like, hey, I'll do this podcast. I'm gonna have, actually. I'm gonna ask Jeff to record it. We're gonna go wherever my I professor. About, I was about to tell you, like, you should go to him. Yeah, we're gonna go to him. Uh, there's a couple other people. Dave, we're gonna go to Dave. Um, eventually at Beatnik probably and mm-hmm. do it in the in the, the, the record store. Record store. And then kind of like show off the record store as we're talking. Um, but I'm gonna ask um. 
uh, Jeff, if you can record it with me there. Which, I mean, it would be pretty reasonable. All you have to do is, because I can't lug this computer there, but maybe I could. Give me a laptop. Yeah, but I don't have a laptop, so I just have, like, my rig. But if I have to, if I have to, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, it would be pretty cool to have him and talk to him. Um, other conspiracy theories. Man, there's so many, honestly. Aliens. Aliens? Uh, what do you what did you think on it? What do you think about aliens? They're real. Okay, like, w- <laughs> okay, wh- what part of it is real? And, like, wh- how do you, wh- what's your, like, explanation? Well, I just, I just think, proof? like. Just going back to like the Mayans and stuff like that, how they just found like structures, pyramids, and stuff like that. So, I mean, they had to have had some sort of help, you know. It's not just coincidence that they all decided to do pyramids. That's the only thing that I have, you know. Mm. I you get know, what you're saying. They could have done domes, mm-hmm. the other civil- civilizations did domes, regular houses, yeah, that's true. Mud walls, you know. Um, what my part, I guess, I don't know, I, th- I don't think I want to take away. The, and then the ingenuity and the kind of hard work and kind of great kind of builders that they were, yeah. you know, and kind of like say, oh, like they had to have some help. But I'm like, when you look, like I, I talked to Jeff about this for a little bit, and like when I look at the iPhone, it's like say my iPhone's off, and you've never seen an iPhone before, and like you don't know how to turn it on and like that, it's off. Mm-hmm. How do you feel, like? What do you when you look at this? You're like, what is this? I don't know. Exactly. I would just be like... How would you even build this? Good question. So, a lot of it, too, is we've lost technology and lost, like, blueprints, I guess. And, like, you'll see it. Like, today, we still use... Or, not today, we... But the Italians in Italy still use the aqueducts that the Romans built. And think of all the times between the Rome and now. And, like, how that technology has stand the test of time. And... People sometimes totally didn't even know how to build that. Like, Middle Ages, like, no one knew how to build that stuff. It's just, True. It's just like, lost in time, I guess. And I feel the same thing with those pyramids that were built. Like, we just will never know. Yeah, we will never know. But also, but. which was cool, too, which I've been um, listening, there's a guy that was on the Joe Rogan podcast, and he's kind of been controversial on the pyramids specifically on how the structures, there might be a structure under the pyramids. Really? Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, um, because they've been using these the technology how it is. It's always progressing and always getting better, and they're able to apparently penetrate through like these waves, some kind of sound wave, and like to pick up kind of like sonar, mm-hmm. um, and they're picking up like another structure in it. Huh. So what they're thinking is uh, the way it was like looks like um, like there's a pyramid on top of like what maybe was like a an like a a holy place or something like that, yeah, some kind of like a tomb. worshiping t- worshiping temple or something like that that yeah. they built on top of with the pyramids because the way it, like it was cut, they didn't cut the to to fit the um the pyramids on top, they cut the 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 new material. Usually you would cut the old material to fit it, mm-hmm. but they cut the new material to fit it on top. So whatever it was was really sacred, apparently. Interesting. Because when you think of it, like you like you would cut. The way I think I think they explained it like the way you would cut thing you would cut the old material because that would fit better and easier, but they cut the new material because it's to fit the old stuff. yeah because it was more that's what they're assuming like it was more sacred. Interesting, I and, didn't know that. Uh, and then the sphinx, <coughs> um, oh, right that's it. Behind the ear or something like that. Oh well, the sphinx, the head. That's not the original head either. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I don't know what his explanation was for it, but it basically it was removed for some reason i think like the pharaoh one of the pharaohs just basically didn't like the god specific god and it turned it off and then put his head on it i believe and then the sphinx also they found they did the same thing to the sphinx and they found what looks like it should be another chamber and they think the sphinx is actually where they stored all the like documents on how to build stuff they thought it was like an archive and so they're hoping what they're going to find or if they get the ability to do it but that's what the controversy is as well. But hopefully they find maybe there's a blueprint on how they built the pyramids. That's which crazy. would be would be fucking that sick. That would be bro. like the find of the century. Yeah. Um but um <clears throat> what the controversy is is like no, like the people that are in Egypt, like the archaeologists that are there, some of them, like most of them actually, I believe that's what he said, um, that are just really like, No, this is what it is, like the what's in stone right now, what you don't know, I guess. And 
which is kind of like it kind of sucks because like you can't really progress in a way and a lot of it's happened because of all the the revolution that's happened there recently where it's kind of been really resistant about it but um yeah dude like do you have like a thing in history like the top five like do you have like five things you would want to go back and see at all like in person like just to see in person like to witness it for a little bit like just history in general yeah like back like back in time like i I won't die no, you won't die. You just like, <laughs> think of like, have you ever seen the, the episode of Futurama where they go back in time? Oh, or no, yes. they go to the future, actually. Uh, and they have like a time machine. Think of that like that. Or you're like, you have your own DeLorean, basically. Oh, I mean, World War II was always an interesting topic. Mm-hmm. How the Nazis would... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> how the, I'm still recovering from real sickness. Okay. okay. But Sorry. um, how the Nazis... Whoa. That's all good. How the Nazis <laughs> were like pushing technology to its limits at that mm-hmm. at that at its time, you know. Mm-hmm. I always thought that was pretty interesting and stuff like that. That place, I would also like to go back to dinosaurs. <laughs> I would want to see dinosaurs. Yeah, I would too, like yeah. to see dinosaurs too. Another thing would be probably the Mayans, the mm-hmm. Aztec Empire. Um, what's another thing I would like to see? Am I at three, four? That's three. S three. Oh shit. If you can't, I mean, if you can't come with two, it's fine. But I would I mean, always five. like to go back to the, uh, the Roaring Twenties. I feel like that was a that pretty, be, yeah, pretty yeah. good time in the yeah. U.S. You know, everyone was like flashing cash everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think that's it for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of them is actually um the height of like the Nazi, like, whatever you want to call it, Third Reich. Yeah. Just to go into the city and just look at, I just want to look at the architecture because all of it got destroyed basically. And, like, Berlin got bombed to, like, nut basically just, rubble. Yeah. And I would like to see just the way it looked. Um, there's a picture I want to order on this website. It's called art.com, I think. Mm-hmm. And it's a picture of, um, like, marathon runners running through um, Berlin during the Olympics in, like, 36, I believe. And, like, you'll see, like, runners. And then in the back, you see see um, this big old uh, structure. And it has, like, a Nazi, like, flag coming down. I'm like... Oh, dude, like, I really, like, that's, like, one of the, I just want to have it just to see, just to, like, show you, like, what this, like, used to look like, and, like, Is the, it, like, the, legit photo? Like, when you see, um, when you see, like, the Olympic runners run through, like, the cities, and mm-hmm. you see the crowds on the side, that's exactly what it looks like, but in the 30s. Oh, man. Yeah. It's not that I want to, like, memorize, like, not, like, the Nazis or anything like that, it was just, like, it just, it's a weird place in time, and I just, like, would want to, like, just look at everything, and then absorb it. Yeah. And be, like, crazy. Uh, World War Two. It would be cool to, um, to see, like, the, just, like, regular people, I guess, and how it impact them. Um, it's, like, my grandfather fought in World War Two, and I have friends that have always had that connection because their grandfathers fought, too. So, um, maybe just, like, to see, not the war itself, but back home and see the people oh, operating. Was, yeah. Well, I, I think a lot of people, like, I forgot what the term was, but they basically planted and made food in their own backyards mm. forgot what the there was, was like rationing and stuff yeah, they, they were, were all doing. rationing and stuff for the like war. uh england was still rationing after the war till like the 50s yeah so like the war was over in 50 f- or 45 and they were still rationing until like 51 52 still can't get over the fact that they won against the germans on that war um yes like yes and no uh w- when you go talk about like the german technology and stuff uh one of the biggest resources we got out of the war was all the scientists we got from germany actually really yeah like the the rockets that went to the moon that was from a uh um oh uh, we were fighting uh, with the cold war with Russia. Yeah. they helped us out with that stuff mm-hmm. a I lot of it that. yeah von braun was one of the scientists he was actual an actual nazi like uh, an actual guy they um that's another thing in my class they talked about they, they you can't find a picture with him in a nazi uniform because they think they destroyed them all and all you see him is standing in like a suit with nazis or with german like uh military men mm-hmm. um but yeah, that guy was like an actual like Nazi, Nazi. Like a crazy fucker. Oh, not a crazy. I don't think he was like oh, that okay. crazy, but uh, he definitely used uh, slave, like slave, like slave labor to build all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, um, they were trying to figure out like where are they building these rockets because they shot they've shot in rockets during World War Two at the end of it, and they're like, where where are they even making this? And they found this whole city underneath this mountain, and it had like you know they had concentration camps so they had jews basically working in there and stuff and they found all these rockets and basically that's what they what they used to take us to the moon which is crazy 
That's crazy. No one knows that stuff. Like not a lot of people will do. I knew. I, I, I didn't know that. I knew. Yeah. I knew about us like getting scientists from after like German scientists that were some of them were actually un- under their will working there, unfortunately. Oh, okay. But some of them were like actually in the organization. They were just you know there to do that. But also he was a guy that was very much pushing just. He didn't really some of the stuff he didn't really care about about the politics of it. He just wanted to like he wanted to go to space. That's really wh- what he wanted to do. Mm, <coughs> I guess. I didn't know that. Um, That's pretty crazy. Mm. Yeah, Tom Long, Tom DeLong is like a big guy on um, like the the spacecrafts that they use or not the spacecraft the, the ones that they were designing. Um, that looks like UFOs, I guess. Which is like crazy. Um, the Aztec one. Um, I don't think I would want to see that too. I would want to see um they got the prime not the prime I mean the city they've had built is like I the conquistadors that talk about it they were like this is like a city like they didn't think this could ever be possible I guess for like that kind of civilization and they saw the city like they just the way they describe the city would be I just would want to see it from the like a top of a mountain at the edge and like look down at it that's all I want to see yeah um but yeah I mean I don't know like the Aztecs are pretty those guys are pretty like crazy and it's not like um i don't know for me whenever anyone calls like uh like native americans being like it was like a genocide in a way i think some of it like you can say but a lot of it was just people just died from diseases unfortunately um diseases that the europeans brought over yeah i mean, I mean y- diseases that no one even knew about too you yeah. can't you i mean back then you couldn't really oh i have smallpox i'm gonna give it to this native american guy <laughs> i mean like y- you, you don't know, know. Yeah, you, you don't know. know and like you know there was mating obviously i mean there's pillaging and raping unfortunately but there's probably some consensual sex back then um but like you don't you never know you, you can't know about that stuff yeah um but uh one thing was always interesting because i didn't know about is actually um the reason why a lot of tribes fought other tribe or worked with like Europeans to fight other tribes is because that tribe that they're fighting like was like actually gonna kill them all off in a way which a lot of people don't know about is like uh some like the Aztecs would like wipe a whole village out basically and like you know you seen Apocalypto right they would I've never seen that oh yeah so like there's a I think it's either the Mayans or Aztecs I have to double I think it's the Aztecs actually um or maybe the Mayans I have to double check but basically this they basically go rape and pillage this whole like village and take all the men back and all the women and that's like slaves and then human sacrifices and that's basically what they would do like each village they would go find a village do the same thing and then they would either join them or be killed off so that's how they became a full empire in a way yeah i mean and then there's animals too that they've that have gone extinct because of hunting and stuff that's it's, crazy yeah it's not just like european i'm not just defending europeans like oh saying like oh they didn't just do this themselves but like they did it themselves as well unfortunately but just like that's human nature yeah. <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately but it's now we're at a time where it's it's happening in certain places where just people are just tearing each other apart but it's not happening as much which is good i guess to take away what was the other thing the fourth one like the roaring 20s the roaring 20s yeah that would be um the great gatsby yeah that's that's where i'm like oh god great gatsby that'd be a blast of music um it would be cool to go to harlem too Harlem, Brooklyn, all those mm-hmm. to go. Uh, I'm not sure. Links and Hughes was around that around that time, I believe. Um, so like going out down there and seeing and experiencing all that, going to like one of those parties and stuff, like you like a masquerade or something like that. That'd be sick to go see. Yeah, I think of like um, the recent movie, The Great Gatsby, that kind of like really gave you a good visualization of like what it would be like. Yeah, the cars, everything, mm-hmm. so sick. Yeah, definitely. That that would be a good time. Uh, but yeah, dude. When I when I talk to my grandma about stuff, cause she's she just turned ninety actually. Oh nice. Yeah. Um, and like she talks about all that stuff back in like the thirties and stuff. I mean, she went through the, like the Great Depression, dude, which is like kind of crazy. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, but like here though, it wasn't. I don't think it was as bad. Uh, I like, think it was the, pretty bad. Like no, like towards like the middle of the country or oh, people yeah. where I had to migrate and stuff. Um, but yeah, she, we were. She was. She they were pretty much almost fine in a way. Like in a way, they just had a ration a little bit, from what she talked about. But I don't know. Maybe she lightened it up. So, um, but yeah, to talk about her and like all of her experiences and stuff, dude. Like, oh my god, we're so lucky. Yeah. 
Oh god. In this time of age, we are lucky, dude. Yeah. This this world that we live in right now, we are damn lucky, dude. Holy crap. Jesus. I can't even like imagine going through like the 30s and 40s like that. Oof. And then going through the Cold War? Oh my god. Like you don't know. Constantly afraid of being Russia in? bombing us, dude. Yeah. Oh, they, like, they t- literally taught elementary school kids. Uh-huh. How to survive a nuclear blast? Yeah, my mom used to talk about that all the time. That is crazy. You guys don't even know. Like we, used to, they made they made us go under tables, and like, and then when she found out later on, like about the actual time, I was like, it would have done anything. You would just have been gone, Woof, wiped off. It's crazy, dude. I think, um, actually, recently there was a atomic scare actually between us and Russia. There was a meteorite that hit Russia or something like that, and they thought someone like send a bomb there or something like that because that's how big the explosion was oh shit yeah it was like it was pretty big and they're like apparently there's a whole scare that no one knew and they'd only told us like i think everyone like a week after oh hey guys uh by the way uh there was a nuclear scare that happened last week no one knew about like stuff like that's like crazy dude to find we, out we I didn't even know dude yeah, they exactly. tell us a week after Shh. yeah dude that's insane bro how big was the meteor for them to think that, dude? Uh, pretty big. Well, Russia's so fucking big, dude. Dude, Russia's huge. And there's so much, there's so much force, and no one like even lives out in some of those places. And the, you hit it out in a tree, like there's, I think that's probably like the most like peppered place. Um, definitely. And then I think, I think maybe in the like 1800s, there's a meteorite that hit somewhere in like Washington, I believe. And it just like wiped a whole forest out, basically, and it wasn't even that big. Nah. No. Which is like makes crazy. you wonder how big the dinosaurs one was. Yeah. That really wiped them out. Oh, you said the dinosaurs too. I forgot. Oh about yeah, that. dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Speaking said, of which, dude, I would uh, I would fucking like. Oh man, I want to go see a dinosaur, dude. Honestly. Triceratops. Yeah. I would love to see a triceratops. Dude, you know what's actually the most serious part about the dinosaur era, era or that whole kind of Jurassic time? What? With the stuff in the water. Dude, Megadon, bro, all that. Sh- we don't know anything from what was lived in the. World. We know a few things, but can you imagine, bro? They, be, they were so big, bro. Oh crocodiles my! Crocodiles would be fighting with sharks. Yeah, dude. There's crocodiles the size like thirty foot crocs. Thirty foot. Think of a thirty foot croc. You're a potato chip to them. Yeah. <laughs> or there was um, there's a crocodile that had they run like a bear. They have like long bear arms. Oh fuck no, dude! Oh, they were able to like run like that, basically, and they had they look they were exactly like a crocodile. But imagine that stuff, dude! Fuck, and they can swim like one too. Oh, they're like basically run. hippo croc. Yeah, there was actually um a relative of the dinosaurs. It was like, but it was it, you know dinosaurs turned into birds, basically. Mm-hmm. It was basically like a like a big like uh like hawk in a way, but like the arms they it didn't really fly, so it was kind of like an ostrich. But think of like an ostrich, but I think it was like eight, eight or ten feet tall. And it was. And it had like the beak of like a like a hawk, basically. Oh hell no, dude! And like that was actually during like early man, when it went extinct, like the first man. Imagine being the first man and you saw that motherfucker come down at you. You're like, oh, this is it. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is I'm, it. Done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Can't run that shit oh, out. Oh god, dude. Oh my goodness. That's what kills you. There used to be um also, it, I think it was related to, um, porcupine maybe you know, hippo, armadillo, or maybe something like that. It was it had a weird relation to something, and it was basically it looked like um, uh, you know like the, like have you ever seen I don't know did you play Yu Gi Oh at all Yeah, you did, like that it was like the, it had a big old like it looked like a like a lion. But it had more like a beast head, in a way. I forgot what the card was called, but like that's what. Imagine like something like that. Oh, the legendary card that you were talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, was right? it one of them? I believe. But like, think of like a thing with like a beast head. Yeah. But a lion body, and like, but like way bigger than a lion, like two times the size of a lion. It used yeah. to live in Russia, or the Siberian, like place or something like that. Two times the size of a lion. Yeah, dude. Think of that thing hunting you. That thing was alive while around like early humans. Dead. But you're dead. Dead. Done. Dead. Check out. You're done. Dirty. But imagine being like an early human too, dude. Oh my god. The survival. The survival of the fittest. But like, think of like, I I feel bad for them though. Like the pot- like, yo, dude. Like, look at that. We have cameras. We have computers. We have cell phones. We have. We have a bed. Yeah, we have a uh, running water. We have transportation. We don't. We we can refrigerate our food. 
People used to f- oh they used to salt their food. I know, dude. That's fucking you know, I don't know. I don't know if they did, but you know, like yeah. people back in the day had to yeah. salt their food to make it last oh longer. Oh my god, dude. It's insane. It's insane. We have planes, we can go I can go to Europe right now. God. They could do was that. unimaginable back in the day. Like imagine if you only lived in like a f- maybe ten mile radius your whole life. That's all. That's, That's it. it, probably. I mean, people migrated, but some people probably just lived in 10-mile radius. Fuck. And there's still people in, like, the Amazon in Brazil that still live... Like, people that are un- untouched by humans? Basically, yeah. There's a guy that died, like, a couple weeks ago or something like that. Um, there's also an island, I, f- I think, off the coast of Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's actually, like, illegal places in Brazil to go to because they're protected. Oh, they're protected. So you're not allowed to go in and contact them. But there's still people you can go into that are... they basically been living exactly they've been living for like thousands of years thousands of years that's, that's all it crazy. is it's the same thing you eat the same thing like imagine <coughs> you can only eat like one set of food. like we all, we can only eat like mexican food that's it that's all you can eat you can eat you can have pizza can have a hamburger i don't mind i mean i don't mind either <laughs> but i'm saying okay say so like only one thing from mexican food then like you only eat tamales that's it that's all you eat oh dude you can't even tacos no enchiladas no uh, um, pozole, no menudo, none of that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Only tamales. I mean, I don't have a problem with tamales, but I'm like, that's it? I'm going to eat tamales, bro? Fuck. God damn. It's insane. It's insane, dude. So I'll probably get to eat a few fruits here and there, you know? Yeah. But I don't think I could live like that. Mm-hmm. Dude, but yeah. So, uh, we we're talking about conspiracy theories, and then somehow we ended up over here. We ended up on Native Americans. Yeah. Well, well Native, I mean, we talked about like places that we would go in the past. Yeah. Yeah. My mind's definitely uh, just dinosaurs. The the Nazis and what? just like looking at like all that stuff. I don't know. I would. I don't know if it's it's probably top ten dinosaurs. Top ten. I would want to go see Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. Um. Definitely a guy that um would want to see uh Alexander the Great. Is like to see some of his stuff and to actually see him oh, talk to Aram. Um, is he the the warrior? Uh, he's or? a Macedonian guy that kind of united all of Greece, kind of in a way. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember him. Um, and like uh, he was like an understood like uh, Aristotle taught him, which was kind of cool. Um, I th- I think another guy I would want I mean, mo- mine's mostly like people, I guess. You want to meet people instead, but I want to be around them. Yeah, I guess. Um, that uh definitely probably. Around the inception of the America, I guess, oh, or like when the it's of yeah, America? like all those meetings and stuff would be kind of interesting to watch. Um, and then another one would probably be the French Revolution. No, because Napoleon would be fine because like, he was around that time. Oh, he's around that time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, probably like oh, it's either Da Vinci, like around like the Renaissance in a way. Or uh, during, like, Marco Polo and how he traveled. You know, I never really read up on Marco Polo. Yeah. I know he was a guy, but I didn't really know what he did. Yeah, he went from, like, Europe all the way to China. That's crazy. Yeah. And like, in that time, dude, fuck, you're, you're dead. Because, like, Marco Polo, you can also, like, learn about Mongolian and Chinese history and stuff. But also, like, Imperial Japan would be kind of, like, early J- Imperial Japan that would be, be pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, India, like um, during like I don't know like the certain Indian. There's like a certain Indian guy. I forgot what's called the actual guy that started like Buddhism. I think it started in India, I believe. No, I think he was I, the guy. I'm thinking. I think was Jap- Chinese Confucius. Confucius. Confucius yeah, but I think oh, think, Confu- okay. I think I think he's when I think he that traveled inf- that influenced India. I think he went to ch- India one time. I believe yeah. I have to double check that. But even like the Taj Mahal would be kind of cool to see, like mm-hmm. when it was built. I just want to see stuff built. In a way, like the first stone. That's it? That's the first stone that goes there? Are you sure? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> like seeing stuff like that would be kind of cool. Built, BC, uh, built, I don't know. Maybe Roman times too are up there too. Shit. There's too much. I want to see everything. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Oh, titties, man. That was, a, that was, that was fun. That was fun, dude. We're vibing. We're vibing, bro. All right. Here we go. We're going to play another song and then we're going to get to promoting. Okay. And then uh, we're last song and then last topic. That's it. For sure. And we're done, dude. All right, here we go. Uh, this is Lefty's Joyride. Enjoy.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Lefty's Joyride. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, they will be playing our December 21st show at Beanig Manito. They're from San Diego. Uh, let's, before we start promoting, recurring question. Have you heard of the recurring question? Is that the one with the kids? Yes. Oh. Uh, you don't have to kill anyone. It's fine. No, I know. <laughs> right, right, just repeat it for me. Okay, so right. this is the scenario. Okay. All right. We're not fantasizing about killing kids, by the way. It's all theoretical, like a video game. If you're in a scenario where you're being surrounded in a field by millions of eight, seven to eight-year-olds, and they're coming at you, you're going to die at the end of this, so it does not matter. But before you go, how many of them are you going to take out with your bare hands? Bro, honestly, before you go. I don't even know, dude. I think like <laughs> two or three. Probably none. None? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. I think I'll take out probably two or three. Yeah, you could probably like knock a, cu- a couple of them down, but like you won't. You're gonna knock a couple down to like knock that whole five down. Yeah. Until you like maybe you might get a, like a good punch in there. That's like, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, millions of kids. Yeah. That, that's that's <laughs> probably. It. Yeah, Daryl was like, yeah, but if you get enough to like just pile on, like they're gonna have to come up to you. And I was like, wow, dude, you really went thoroughly into like thinking <laughs> about this. It's like, well, man, like, yeah, I just, this is not gonna happen anyways. So I was like, okay, now yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of crazy, but hey. All right. Let's get to promoting, young man. All right. Let's do it. The floor is yours. Promote what you want to promote. Obviously, Broken Sun. Any shout outs to anyone else, too? You may. So go ahead. Shout outs. Well, this is coming on. This will come out, won't come out next week. It'll come out the week after next week. So it'll be next December. Okay. December this will, the audio will come out December 10th the video will come out December 12th alright so I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Tritones you all should really listen to them they're really good um, we recorded an acoustic session with them that will be out literally a week from now Nice. so make sure you hop onto their music they got two new songs they recorded with us awesome. and it was an acoustic session so nice yeah, and then aside from that, um, we will start releasing episodes near the end of December. So okay. keep an eye out for season three. It'll be very good. Broken Sun. Um, it's spelled differently on YouTube, though, right? No, it's spelled Broken Sun on YouTube. Well, there's no two ends? No. Okay, so there's only one end, so just Broken and then Sun. That's but it. you'll still find it if you type in the two ends. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, and then also uh, it's all featured on the College Avenue channel. If you're on the College Avenue channel for some reason, on the homepage, it'll be there. Yeah, we got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Okay, any more shoutouts? Nope. Nope, that's it? That's it. All right. Uh, again, December 21st, I've already to- told you the last band that we just played, the Lefties is going to be playing that show, Scattered Rain and Broken Dreams Club. We're waiting on the last band to confirm. I'm already going to say the bands. December 21st, ladies and gentlemen, be there, be square. And support some awesome bands. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's get into the last song and then the last topic, and then we're done. All done. We're done. Here we go. We got Daryl Blake, our last guest on our last podcast. If you want to go ahead and check that out, this is to promote him and his solo project. Uh, this is off his EP before the one he's going to release, actually. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. This is not there for me. Enjoy.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys Daryl or hope you guys enjoy Daryl. Uh, very interesting conversation I had with him. I was telling you I talked to him for like three and a half hours, yeah, which is pretty impressive. Uh, not that he's like he's chatty like that, but we were just like r- literally just talking back and forth, and it was just like such a fl- upflowing conversation. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, when I was actually editing the uh, video part, I was like, we never paused. So like when I did the breaks. He kept, we kept on going. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. I was like, I was like, where? Cause I usually have like a nice pause, but I, I didn't have it for that. And it actually took me a long time to figure out where the pauses were <laughs> to put the songs in when I was editing it. But, uh, let's get into something fun. Do you want to do video games or anime? Let's do video games. Okay. Games coming out pretty soon. Do you put this in there? Smash Bros. Bro, I love Smash. So this also might cater to Sun, who I eventually will have on the podcast. But let's talk about that for a little bit then. Smash. Let's talk about smashing and smash. Smash, smash. Uh, I actually did a um my other podcast, and in Japan they're releasing an amiibo set, sixty four of them, for like it's gonna be over like a like obviously in the hundreds. No, I never really understood amiibos. What are they? Um, are they just like characters? Oh well, no. Trophies? Um, Kind of like um, save data in a way. So say like uh, you go like you're at your at home, you have a certain way you want to play your link. Mm-hmm. So you take your link and you save it on that. So you take it with you, you go to your friend's house, but you don't have your thing saved. So you just go and you just put it on the the little there's a little square thing, mm-hmm. put it on, and it'll upload your data. So you don't have to reset it. That's crazy. And that saves all like the stats I think to it too, I believe. I did not know that. Yes. So they're releasing 64 of them. All together at one. So if you never bought one, but it's only in Japan right now. Oh, okay. So yeah. 
but it's a big ass box full of every single one uh 64 of the characters or 63 sorry which is kind of insane You're like whoa that's a lot that is a lot um but i think it's 64 Probably. Because they're releasing 64 characters on launch yeah. for Smash. So you get every single one of those. And then I think you get those early, actually, before anyone else. Because before they sit, sell them by themselves. Which is, like, crazy. So like, okay. You could even just flip them. Mm-hmm. That too. Uh, what, what, how do you play Smash? What, I play Smash through GameCube. Okay. Classic, man. Okay. Gotta play through GameCube controller. I'm not too picky on my controller. I, I usually just use the um, the Pro. Oh, the Pro? The Pro controller? I'm fine with that. I'm like I've never played with that before. I used to play on DS. Okay. I bought a 3DS just for Smash. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. And then you could play it, which was cool. You could play on the Wii U. Yeah. Well, uh, which is convenient. Like, uh, like say you didn't have a controller, but you had the Smash, and then you just throw it on, and then you're playing with everyone, which was kind of like a weird it's, thing, it's but a, it worked. It worked, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I had a couple like Smash parties back in the day where um, I, bought, I bought my nephew... Um, it on the on the DS, and then he came. I told him like, "Hey, dude, we're gonna play Smash. You wanna come and play?" And like, there's gonna be nachos and stuff, food and whatnot. He's like, "Yeah." So I was like, "Okay, we're gonna play on your DS," and then where everyone else, uh, it was like convenient. And then we all switch. You know, you, know, you all switch around and stuff. Mm-hmm. Someone was like, "Can I try it on the Wii?" Do you know? I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> it was weird though, like to play out live with someone. And then I'm, I don't know. I mean, no it's, it's kind of weird, yeah, when you play on the DS because like it's just. Nothing's playing on the DS. Like you have to look up and play with your DS. Yeah. Like at the screen. No, I think you can. I think you can actually set it to like actually like. So play. you can just play on the DS. Alone? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Huh. I yeah, because because I, I remember he figured it out how to like set it up, and I was like, "Are you playing on your screen?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "You a little cheater." <laughs> 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 but, he so u- but he's also used to playing it that way too. So I was like, "Okay, that oh, makes sense." Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I usually play with the Pro controller. I don't think I ever played. I only played it like Smash on the GameCube like twice. Melee, I believe. No. Oh, Melee is broken, dude. I can't yeah. play Melee. Um, because no Melee. Which which one was on the that GameCube? Was Melee. The, Melee was the GameCube one. Uh, and then, then Brawl was the Brawl, Wii one. Yeah. Okay. And then Smash Wii U for the Wii U. Yeah, because I remember I I go back to OG days, dog. <laughs> OG days. On, on the on the uh, 64, dude. Dude. Yeah. They didn't even have eyes. I think. Like it was so pixelized and yeah. like blocky. Ba- yeah, I think they had, like, it was, like, not too detailed, but I think they did. Kind of did. Oh, they did? Kind of oh, did. I not, that didn't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, um, even that, I think they actually had, I want I have to double check this. I think they had, like, a like an 8-bit or 64-bit version version of, like, but it wasn't called Smash. It was called something else. I didn't know that. Of, like, Nintendo something. But it was only, like, a limited amount of characters. It was only, like, super, like, it was, like, a mod of like Super Smash Brothers that they made, and I think that's what inspired Smash. Smash Bros. Really? Yeah. Oh, I actually heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I heard about it something it, like that. Yeah, it just looks like Mario, and like some of like the Mar Super Mario characters. Basically, you play as. I have to double check. I have to do some research, but I've seen that before. I heard about it. I think I heard about that too. And I'm like, what? That makes no something sense. Something before Smash. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that'd be that'd be crazy. Um, and obviously, it's inspired a lot of other games like uh. PlayStation All Stars, yeah, or something like that, and then there is a PC version. I forgot what it's called. Punch Out, I think is what it's called. They they have like luchadors and stuff, kind of like very cartoony characters. Um, that kind of like it looks like Smash. It kind of plays like Smash, but it isn't Smash. In a yeah. way, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I can't wait. I it's gonna be a lot of fun to play that. I think um, I mean, I'm gonna get a Switch eventually just to get that. Yeah, de- me too. So, um, I know it comes out. I think what next week, I believe. <laughs> I've been waiting. But I um, wait. I, wait. I have a buddy that already has a Switch, so he's gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be able to play it a couple times before. But the Switch is actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of like cool games that no one will probably play. There's a lot. Of Nintendo re- or there's publishers that put stuff on Nintendo stuff where you wouldn't think it would be fun. There's this little thing where you play as little squares. And you have to get through like these puzzles. It's like third party games? I think so. I don't know what it I don't know who makes it. I forgot what it's called. But it's this little square thing and you're on these little platforms and trying to jump through and trying to not get like eliminated, I guess. And it's like the craziest thing ever. But I'm like, This game is so fun and simple 
how the f- how am I having so much fun? It makes no sense. But when you're playing with so many people, like with friends, it's like a four player game you can play with. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun. And like Nintendo has like a bunch of those like like you wouldn't even know about because you have to play Nintendo game or have to have the system and kind of like hit and miss because some of them are like ten bucks or something yeah. like that, some of them are like fifteen. You gotta like or some of them are like thirty. You're like, oh, should I buy this thirty dollar game I never even heard about? And that's when you go like, oh, I gotta look at the reviews or something like that. But Smash, everyone knows Smash. Everyone knows Smash, dude. Um, Who do you play? Uh, Link, Shulk, and Snake. I'm, I'm, yeah, they brought back Snake. I'm so happy they brought back Snake, dude. Yeah. Oh, I missed them in uh, Ultimate, right? Ultimate's no. the one coming. No, out. what's the one? The last one Smash on Smash Four, I think. Or Wii Wii U? You was yeah. it? What did they call it? I think everyone referred to it as Smash Four. Smash Four. Okay, yeah. I thought they named it or something. It's just Smash Bros. Wii U DS. Is it? Yeah. Okay. They could have named it better, to be honest. Yeah, they could have. I thought they did. I'll have to double check that. But yeah, Snake. I was really bummed that they picked Snake, and I was like, dog. Snake wasn't my guy for Brawl. I was like, because he's so. There's not. I mean, he has power, but he has like these combos you can just not smash, but like they're just lethal. Yeah. And he has a really good counters too that I liked. At the time, I don't I don't remember them off the top of my head, but like, he's a, he's very nasty, so I can't wait. Um, and then because I, I thought Little Mac was gonna be my guy, like the replace him, I was like, his recovery sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> once he gets off stage, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would have to you have to master that down for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, him kind of coming back, and then Shulk was kind of another guy who was just like, is there anyone else that plays like Link? And then I looked, I was like, he kind of does. And he has like a really cool counter where you come down and he, he like I forgot what it co- what what it's called and basically you counter like anyone else's like kind of power moves and like yeah. you can put someone off the map with that thing. I was like, dude, this thing is dirty. <laughs> um, but I, I usually um I also like playing as Bowser or Donkey Kong sometimes just for fun. Yeah, I'm like I'll figure this out. <laughs> Donkey um, Kong's fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even like uh Brow- Bowser's like he's a menace. You just come down with this shell. People are just like, there's two people fighting. I'll be fighting someone, and I'll be like on top of the stage, and there's two people down here like fighting, and it just, and then I'm like, see you, dude, and then I come down and like they don't even know, and they come down, boom, and I knock both of them off the stage. I'm like, God damn it, I hate you or something like that. They'll say something. I'm like, sorry, man, you gotta pay attention, bro. <laughs> when it's when it's a uh, free for all, dog, free for all. I'll take free them all. Free for out. all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, I can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It is gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of it's definitely gonna be a lot of Smash going on in the the music scene on the side probably too. Oh yeah, dude. I guess well, a lot of people play Smash, dude. I can see like people bringing their switches, <laughs> have, like bands like Sun. I can see, yo, dude, I got Smash. You want to play? I'm like, yeah, dude, let's play. I'll bring mine too. Yeah, dude, it'd be sick. We should have like a Smash show, where we just have like a tournament, and like then we have bands would, yeah. or something like a band or something like that. That'd be kind of sick to do. I guess, I don't know. We'll we should start something like that. Bring a should. TV. Bring a TV on the side. Or, I don't know. Mm. We'll figure something out. That'd be a lot of fun. But yeah. I think that's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. You good? I'm good. Yep. I know you got to be somewhere at three, right? Yeah. Okay. So we, uh, we you'll have half an hour to, or more than half an hour to get there now. Yeah. I need so to cool. go pick up my microphones. Okay, cool. We'll get this. We'll get you out of here. Uh, that has been it, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the College Avenue channel. Also, go to Broken Sun and go and like all the videos and watch them and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, if you're listening on the audio versions, please also give us or consider uh, giving us a heart and a follow on SoundCloud, Google Play, and um, iTunes Podcast. Uh, that is it, really. Uh, thank you guys for watching very much. Uh, if you're like listening or uh, watching us, uh, and that's been it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've been the host, Richard Radio, joined by Enrique. I already forgot how to say your last name. Ojeda. O- Ojeda. <laughs> I was gonna say O'Hara again, but Ojeda. Uh, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you for having me. Awesome, man. Thank you.